Hello friends, as you know, we have been solving the JE mains paper 2017 and I am solving the physics uh, portion for you. This question is from the question set D, the which question set which you are referring and the question number is 55. So question number 55 from the set D. In this question we have been given that a man grows into a giant overnight. Rato ra ek insaan hai, jo ek giant mein convert ho jata hai, such that uski jo ek linear dimension hai, wo 9 times increase ho jati hai. So if I am a man and I grow into a giant overnight, only one of my dimension and that is a linear dimension grows by a fold of, by a factor of 9. Mujhe ye kaha gaya hai ke throughout this process in which I convert into a giant, the density of this process would remain, the density of me, that is myself would remain constant. So my density is constant, my linear, uh, linear dimension is 9 times bigger. And I have asked that if this process takes place overnight, what would be the new stress, the factor by which the stress in my legs would increase? The question is fairly simple now. Let us now, in order to solve this question, let us now make an assumption that had I not been in a complex figure like this, let us assume myself as a cube or a cuboid in this case. So, cuboid ke three dimensions hote hain, pata hai, length hoti hai, breadth hoti hai, height hota hai. So, let us assume that this is length, this is my breadth and this is the height of my cube. Or initially, agar main aisa tha, so this is old me and this is the new me. Overnight, what happens is I grow into a giant. So, one of my linear dimension, assuming n, h, sorry, in this case, grows by a factor of 9. Other things remains constant. So, my l, b, they remain constant, but my height suddenly increases by a factor of 9. I need to find out what would be the stress, by the, what would be the new stress, the factor by which the stress would increase. So I know that my force, uh, sorry, force of this entire mass is nothing but m times g. This is what my force is and I know my stress is nothing but force by area. In this case, if I take this base, l into b would be my area. So my force is m times g l times b. This is my initial stress, I would write it stress initial. Now, in the second case, that is my stress nu would be the nu force by nu area. Given that only one of my dimensions, in this case the height only increases, the area on which the entire stress is being focused would remain the same. So my area, nu area would nothing but be equals to L cross B which was initial area. But my force would increase. Why would it increase? Because as I know, my density in this entire process would remain constant. I know my density is nothing but mass by volume. My volume would increase given that my initial volume was this volume of the cuboid. New volume would be this volume of the cuboid, which is clearly the nine times the initial volume because my height has increased, my volume would increase and it will also increase by a factor of nine. So my density in order to that remain constant, my mass must also increase. And how much should it increase? It should increase by a factor of 9. In that case only, let's say my new mass is 9m and my new volume is 9v, my 9 gets cancelled and my density remains same. So density has to be constant, mass must increase by a factor of 9 as my volume has increased by a factor of 9. So now when I, times, when I write m times g, my new m which is m dash times g in this case would be 9 times m into g by L into B. So if I take the factor of S nu by S initial, that is the factor by which the stress in my legs has increased, it would be clearly be equals to 9. So if I grow into a giant overnight, my stress in my legs would increase by a factor of 9 and that would be very painful. But do tend to solve these questions by applying the basic formulas and please subscribe to our channel. We are coming up with the, uh, with the new questions, with the solved questions of JEMA's paper 2017. So please hang on to this.